Hello and welcome to another episode of Cyril's Brettspiele. My name is Niels and today in a nutshell, Flotty Karotti. Flotty Karotti is another game from Ravensburger and as you can see on the box, das Hasenstarke Hüpfspiel, it's a German box, frag mich, ask me. Uh, we are talking about rabbits, we are talking about carrots, but it's a game in German. However, to be upfront and clear on that, even if the game is in German, we played it a lot of with kids. It says from four to eight years here. We played it a lot with kids in the United States. When my little girl is playing with his or her friends, she is um, with her friends. So she is using that game and we tr simply explain the rules in English and then we can start right away. Even if it's one of these toys where you have speech involved. And I will show it to you right now. Ali, hallo. Habt ihr Lust mit mir zu spielen? Bewegt euch zur Musik. Dann sage ich einen meiner Obst- oder Gemüsefreunde an, den ihr suchen sollt. So now he's explaining the rules, he is talking what's going on here, and but I will take it uh, for you. So you have six different colors, these are the rabbits here, blue, red, bl light blue and so on, uh, teal, yellow and purple. So, And what you're doing is, you are putting this carrot into this carrot hill here. I will sh make a cut until the music is over. Then you are placing all these 12 different vegetables and uh, fruits inside your flat, house, whatever. Wherever you want, but place it far away. If you wanted to increase the difficulty level a little bit, you can place this s four different animal f vegetable animal fruit things here but they are just not part of the game you can place them to irritate the kids a little bit but they are not things you want to search after that you hear a little sound the sound is always different what you have to do so you can either jump on one leg or jump on uh, two legs and two hands or just dance whatever you want and after you did this little bit of exercising you have to run around in your house and search he's saying now I want you to search for my friend paprika slash bell pepper so now you have to look for paprika um, each of the kids is running around and flipping over these tiles they are on the back side so and taking a look Oh, this is not the paprika, and oh, this is not the paprika, this is a paprika. Whoever found the paprika first runs back and pushes this button. Whenever you push the button, it says, oh, you found it, and then this person gets a carrot token. Carrot tokens are simply victory tokens. Um, after you did that, I will show to you what happened, but give me a second for that. So we are still in the process. Now we found the cucumber and I put the camera a little bit here. He's saying, attention, I'm jumping out of this hill in a second. And now what happens is he's whoo, jumping up. So, and I, my goal is it to catch it. When he is jumping out of his hill, to catch it. If it falls down, then you don't catch it, you don't get a chip. However, this is the reason why this is soft plastic. Whoever catches it gets another token. Keep attention, you never, uh, you are never allowed to catch the uh, carrot if you found, for an example, the bell pepper. That kid is out. However, all the other five kids are allowed and whenever one kid catches it, it get another token. But I guess I talk too much right now. Let's take a look the game in play when my little girl and a friend is playing Flotty Karate. Here in the United States, so listen, it's in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Oh, 
immediately. Flotty Karate when my little girl and her friend is playing Flotty Karate. Uh, yeah, let's go and jump to my personal opinion on Flotty Karate. First of all, I was a little bit of, okay, it looks cool, all the mechanics are cool, um, but on the other hand, for an adult, it looks a little bit boring, right? You have 12 of these pieces, add four more if you wanted to confuse the kids a little bit more, then make a little bit of... Uh, physical exercise and then run around after the third round you probably know like memory where all these pieces are where all the vegetables are so there's no real challenge however man we played it and my little girl Judy she is on fire as you can see on the video she is playing that again and again and again I thought okay well this little family here in the United States, two parents and Judy, we can play it with three players. So we will never end up with six bunnies. But each single kid who came in and saw that here, they are on fire. They wanted to catch the carrot when it's flying out. They wanted to run around. They wanted to jump. Honestly, every kid, every kid here in the United States loves Flotty Karate. I have no idea why, because they even don't understand what the hill is saying. But it's crazy. Everybody is running crazy for Flotty Karate. So, conclusion is, and I can only say that multiple times again, or just one time, whatever you prefer, everybody liked it. So, it was a hidden gem, a surprise that all the people like a German game but believe it or not when we are playing Flotty Karate everybody has fun and on the other side I want to admit I have this game since roughly eight weeks here and we played it with six different friends six different play dates yes six different US players we play that game every single week believe it or not that is a secret hit here in the house and Judy and I we are playing almost every single day games or puzzle that's what we are doing every single day a puzzle or a game but Flotty Karate is coming a lot off to the table so I can only say yes that is exactly a game you want this is exactly the game you should have and if you're a little bit aware of how this game works in English, no worries, there are instructions online or simply send me an email and I will translate it for you easily. But it is so easy. I mean, the only thing that you have to translate is all the vegetable and fruits. And this is tomato in German, tomate. Wow, that's super complicated. Broccoli in German, broccoli. Apple in German, Apfel. Okay, that is a little bit more uh, complicated. That is a cucumber in German, Gurke. Garlic in German, Knoblauch. As you can see, there are a couple differences. Strawberry is Erdbeere. So, yeah, again. Mushroom is Champignon. 
or pills in this case it's pills in German um, then potato is kartoffel and himbeere is raspberry so there are a couple of differences but honestly you only need to learn 12 different vegetables and fruits and honestly it's fun for parents too right so that was my view of Flotti Carotti from Ravensburger and again my little girl likes it so take a look what my little girl is doing when she is playing Flotti Carotti. See you next time this was another in a nutshell bye bye my name is Niels see you have fun <laughs>